Hi, and welcome to Channel Cheese, where we're about to explore the delicious world of buffalo milk cheese. Buffalo cheese has really increased in popularity over the last few years, and while people might be familiar with buffalo mozzarella or buffalo ricotta, buffalo milk can be used to make all sorts of different cheeses. It's higher in solids than cow's milk and has a rich, sweet, creamy flavour that's proving popular with cheese lovers all over the world. In the Italian region of Lombardy, about an hour from Milan, lies Colonio Arcerio, a small town with a rich history and charming medieval architecture dating back to the 13th century. It's also the home of Quattro Portoni, Buffalo Dairy and Cheesery. The family farm was established in 1968 by Renato Gritti, a trader in farm machinery who dreamt of having a farm of his own. A few years after Renato passed away, his two sons, Bruno and Alfio, took over the farm. Trained in veterinary science and land management, the brothers originally started breeding and milking dairy cattle, but made the decision to convert to a buffalo dairy in 2003, in a move to differentiate their business from the large industrial cow dairies nearby. But it wasn't until 2006 that they started to make cheese, with the idea of making a range of traditional cheeses, but enriched with the unique qualities of buffalo milk. Today, Quattro Portoni make around 14 different types of cheese, inspired by the traditional cheeses of this region, like Taleggio and Gorgonzola. Because no one else had made cheeses like this with buffalo milk before, Bruno and Alfio had a pretty steep learning curve when they started out. I spoke with Bruno's daughter, Michaela, who explained how they had to adapt traditional cheese recipes to suit buffalo milk. Well, the tradition of this region is characterized by a wide variety of cheeses, but they're all made with cow milk. But the tradition with buffalo milk is just with mozzarella and from the south of Italy. So the real new that we made was um, like marriage between buffalo milk and our tradition. So that we started our experiments with our typical cheeses, particularly seasoned, half seasoned cheeses using this kind of new milk. And we made experiments for, I don't know, six, seven months. And, it, and then it was funny and tragic at, at the same time, because we really didn't know how to make this kind of cheeses. And nobody was there to tell us how to do it, because it was really something new. Francesca's father Bruno oversees all the cheese making at Quattro Portoni and he took me through a tasting of some of their signature cheeses in this 17th century cellar on their property. So Bruno, here are your delicious cheeses. Yes. Let's have a taste. Okay. Tell me what is this one? This one is Casatica. Okay. Very soft cheese and the creamy. Mm. Obviamente very soft and creamy. Casatica is made in the style of a brie with a thin white mould on the outside. The high fat buffalo milk produces a luscious snow white interior that has an incredibly smooth texture and a rich dreamy flavour. You were saying before the taste is very delicate. Yes. Very mild. Very mm. This is Quadrello, a washed rind cheese in the style of Taleggio, but of course made with 100% buffalo milk. So during the maturation is washed? Yes. Mm -hmm. Water and salt. The process of washing the outside of the cheese with salt water during maturation creates the characteristic orange rind, rich savoury flavour and pungent aroma. I can't believe I almost missed out on the tastiest part of the cheese. No, that's the best bit. That's delicious. I want to eat that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Again, it's so smooth. It's so creamy inside. But the flavour is, uh, is more salty, more strong. Yes, but it's uh, uh, soluble. Mm -hmm. It's a short in bulk. Yeah, okay. Yes. And you say before you use this in uh, polenta? Yes. Yeah, yum. Typi okay. Typically bergamasco. Mm, okay, for the region. Taleggio and polenta or quadrello and polenta. Yeah. Best, best quadrello. Okay, good tip. Thanks. <laughs> Our herd is composed by about 900 animals and well 
in this time of the year, about 200 females are milking. Well, it depends on the season. It goes from 200 to 300. Each dairy buffalo here produces around seven to eight litres of milk a day. Now, although this is less than the average dairy cow produces, it's actually much higher in solids, which means it takes less buffalo milk on average to make a kilo of cheese. Even though the buffalo look a bit intimidating with their big horns and intense stares, deep down they're actually gentle giants with a very placid temperament. I can't believe how calm the buffalo are. They're almost in this relaxed trance. They don't even need to be fed during milking, so there's no enticing them. They just naturally come in and stand here completely relaxed while they're milked. It's amazing. Well, that's the buffalo's work done, which means it's time to start cheese making. Soon, we'll see this fresh milk transformed into Quattro Portoni's signature blue vein cheese, Blue de Buffalo. Welcome back to Channel Cheese and our visit to Quattro Portoni Buffalo Cheesery. Just a few hundred metres down the road from the dairy is the beautiful medieval town of Colonio Arcerio. Michaela explained it was a source of inspiration for her family. Well, the name of the dairy is Quattro Portoni. That means four gates. Well, we got the inspiration for this name because of the town where the dairy is settled. The old town is completely surrounded by a moat and is accessible only via these four gates, or in Italian, Quattro Portoni. And each gate has a name in the same way that a street or a bridge has a name. And we use these names to give names to the cheeses too, like the Moringello or Casatica. Naming cheeses after local places and landmarks is a very old practice and a great way for cheesemakers to connect with tradition. Because Quattro Portoni is a farmhouse cheesery, the milk doesn't have to travel very far. In fact, only a few metres into the cheese making room right next door. After it's been pasteurised, it's pumped into vats ready for the day's make. So we're just seeing the milk being pumped in here for their signature blue cheese, Blue de Buffalo. In a minute we'll see the cheese maker put in the reddit and the blue mold culture. Um, you'll notice when you look at the milk that it's really white, it's almost pearly white. This is characteristic of buffalo milk because it has no beta carotene. And you notice this beautiful whiteness always comes through in the finished cheese. The cheese maker adds starter cultures, blue mould and rennet. Now many people are surprised to discover that in modern blue cheese making, the blue mould is actually added to the milk at the beginning of the process. Certainly in the past it was a little hit and miss, with cheese makers often relying on naturally occurring blue mould in caves. But these days it's a very controlled process even for classic blues like Stilton, Roquefort and Gorgonzola. The milk is stirred as it's gently heated up, then the cheesemaker lets it sit to coagulate and form curds. So Bruno, some of your buffalo are here, all for cheese making. I have never seen a blue vein cheese made with buffalo milk. It's very unique. Tell me about your cheese. Oh yes, uh, we have been the first one to make a seasoned buffalo cheese and uh, we have uh, adapted the techniques of typical uh, cheese of Lombardy like uh, Taleggio or Gorgonzola to our, to our uh, milk. Uh, so we spent a lot of work and a lot of time. Uh, for example, uh, we spent two years to refine the recipe of Blue de Buffalo. Two years? Two years, wow, yes, okay. a lot of time. <laughs> uh, so uh, is why our cheese is unique. After the curd has set, it's cut into small cubes and then left to drain briefly on these large trays before it's sliced up, ready to be put into moulds. Artisanal cheese making like this is really labour intensive. It's a hands-on process that needs to be monitored at every stage with an expert eye. An industrial cheese factory making 10 times the amount of cheese would probably have the same number of employees as a small farmhouse cheesery like Quattro Portoni. It's 
really important for blue cheese that you keep a lot of spaces inside because that's where the mold's gonna grow. So that's what the guys are doing here with this really unusual technique. So they're layering one piece of curd each way so that it creates lots of gaps inside the cheese for that lovely blue mold to grow. Young cheeses are then prepared for maturation where they are carefully tended so they can develop their natural grey rind. During maturation, the cheeses are pierced with stainless steel needles to let oxygen into the body of the cheese, which in turn allows the blue mould to start growing. Yes, Blue de Buffalo, our blue cheese. Okay, so here the pockets of the mould, it was important when they were making it into the moulds yes, to, to keep the space, the yes. oxygen for the mould. Yes. And again, in a square shape. Typical of the region for the square? Well, uh, typical of uh, cheese uh, making here, here. Okay. I love looking at the patterns the blue mold makes. It's a bit like a fingerprint in that every wheel is different and unique. Now, when you're buying blue vein cheese, always make sure that the mold is a fresh, vibrant blue green colour, not faded or grey, which indicates that the cheese might be a bit old. Wow, look, you can actually see the fibres of the mould growing out of the cheese. How cool is that? The balance of the flavour is very nice. It's creamy and the salt and the blue. Yes, and the fat of the mm. buffalo cheese is important for mm. this flavour. It gives a nice coating, yeah. Delicious, thank you. Thank you to you. I love this new take on some old world classic cheeses. It's great to see this sort of cheese innovation drawing inspiration from centuries-old tradition, but with a modern twist. The rich, creamy flavours in these buffalo cheeses make them a great match for most medium-bodied red and white wines, especially Italian varietals. For more on this story, visit our website, channelcheese.tv.